I will never forget watching my first horror film. I was a curious nine-year-old child who managed to find a DVD of The Ring and that black-haired girl haunted me for years afterwards. My point is that first impression of a horror film stayed with me for many, many years afterwards and I still have it lurking somewhere at the back of my mind if I end up waking up in the middle of the night. My name is Paulina and welcome back to my channel and in this video I'm gonna talk to you about why you should never watch horror films. Also, please let me know if any of the horror films you watched were particularly scary to you and if any of them affected you as a child and stayed with you long term. The first reason why you should never watch horror films is to preserve positive vibes. We really have the freedom to construct our lives in any way we want and that happens based on the information that we invite into our lives. There is physical diet that helps to construct our bodies and there's also informational diet that helps to construct our mind and everything that our mind thinks about. The quality of your informational consumption determines your well-being overall and determines the direction of your life. It is quite reasonable to expect that surrounding yourself with positive books, positive movies, things that make you laugh, positive people. All of these things will affect your life in a very positive way and you will be heading in a positive, constructive direction. And it is a really great direction to have in a world already full of problems. So I have a question for you. Filling your life with death, torture, serial killers, supernatural entities, ghosts, and other types of destructive negative things, what good is it gonna do to you? Each person has problems of their own, so why would you make it worse on yourself? Instead, surround yourself with positive vibes, positive people, and positive things. The second reason to stop watching horror films is to maintain your mental hygiene. The topic of mental hygiene is a very relevant one with the abundance of different sorts of information out there. We live in an informational age and we are always flooded with all different types of information. Does it mean that we should consume all of the information that we receive? Our brains would just explode. And this concept of consuming less information or less relevant information not only applies to horror films but also to social media, news outlets, TV shows and other sources. And it is true that sometimes we do overwhelm our brain with excessive information. Think about what happens when you scroll through too much social media. You just feel exhausted from the amount of data you just consumed. So that's why I'm saying you want to leave room for important things, not just entertainment. And horror films are an example of destructive or negative entertainment. So I definitely argue that mental hygiene is very important if you want to leave room in your brain for your growth and prosperity. The third reason to ditch watching horror films is law of attraction. I understand the skepticism that most of you perceive law of attraction with, but I think this concept works for believers and non-believers alike. Law of attraction is indeed very similar to law of attention. I'm not sure if anybody named it this way, but I'm gonna name it this way regardless. Law of attraction says that our thoughts have a material quality to them, that they manifest into real life. So if you think about it, our thoughts really do matter. So if you fill your head with thoughts about horror films, those horror film thoughts are gonna start manifesting into your reality. You're gonna be paying more attention to horror things in your life. For non-believers of material reality of thoughts, think about attention span. We as humans have very limited attention span. We can just pay attention to several things at once. So now we can do a little experiment right here. Look around your room and notice all the things of red color. Look attentively, look carefully. Now look back at your screen and think of all the blue things that were in your room. Do not look around, do not look back. The thing is, if you paid attention to things of red color, it is very likely you're gonna miss 
all of the objects of other colors. You're not gonna remember them because again, your attention is very limited. So the thing is we truly become what we think or what we pay attention to. I also recommend watching this very interesting experiment. I'm not gonna disclose what happens in the experiment because that will spoil the entire thing. It's gonna be linked up here and in the info card if you wanna check your attention span. I also recommend you watch my iPhone addiction video because I talk about attention span in more depth in there. So speaking of law of attraction or law of attention, we become what we think. So if you're gonna be watching horror films, you will ultimately invite that into your reality by the law of attraction or the law of attention. Speaking from my own personal experience, last summer I was watching Hayley Reese's channel and I really admire her. I think she's an extremely talented individual, but her channel is all about paranormal, supernatural, occurrences and all of that was super curious to me and she's a great storyteller. But the thing is, after a month of watching her videos, I started becoming more skeptical of real life. I started believing in all those things more and that affected the quality of my sleep and that affected the quality of my life because we become what we think. And if you're gonna submerge yourself into the reality of horror films, you will start seeing them in your real life. In conclusion, I wanna say thank you so much for watching this video and being here with me today. If you enjoyed this type of content, I would love for you to subscribe. On this channel, I talk about psychology, anti-dieting, nutrition, veganism, and other interesting topics. Again, thank you so much for being here and I will see you in my next video, guys. Bye.